My dearest sister, please know that our family are all fine and we are happy to be alive after Odette. Our houses are roofless but we are not hopeless. This was the letter of Aini Antonio Jimeno, a survivor of Typhoon Odette in Dinagat Island, to her sister Jeanette Antonio Viesca of Davao City. Five days since Odette carved the wide swath of destruction, thousands of families still have no idea of the fate of their relatives and friends in southern Visayas and eastern Mindanao. With power and communications down, people are finding creative ways to tell relatives and friends that they are okay. Jeanette saw her sister's letter posted on the Facebook page of Denagat Governor Kakabagao. But naiyak ako talaga. I really cried kasi uh, unang-una yung hand, handwritten kasi eh. So makikita mo na she was able to write that note so she's okay. With her province cut off from the rest of the country, Bagao started collecting letters from the Nagat residents to post in her FB page whenever she gets a signal when traveling to other provinces. For this, they coined the term letters from the Nagat. Uh, after I got a message from my sister, so partially relieved. But not, I don't know, until... I get to see them in flesh. Doon po ako fully Mary relieved. On the other hand, Rina Donke still hasn't heard from her cousin, Mary Jane de Rigfat, who was visiting Dinagat Island when the storm hit. Dahil po siguro sa walang kuryente, hindi sila makapag-charge, kaya hindi sila nakapag-contact sa amin. Ganun po yung nasa isip. To help look for her, the Rigfat's employer, Jem Fernando, turned to social media for crowdsourcing on Facebook with the hashtag FindYayaJane. Kasi po nung baby pa lang sila, siya na po yung ano, nag-aalaga. Pag kasi wala ka doon, hindi mo alam yung nangyayari. Lahat ng scenario may iisip mo eh. I've been there. There is hope. Um, manalangin tayo. Let, let us pray to God na, na ma-protect sila, na ma-protect yung mga victims. Mobile journalist Jacob Lazaro, we are One News.